So today's video is going to be showing you how to fix your Oculus controller. Now this will be the same on the Quest 2 uh, Rift S. Basically, most of the time you hit something in the wing busted. Now I picked this Oculus up, you see here, used. And, you know, it must have been a kid owned it or something. The controller is missing the battery back and they busted. Now I'm going to show you how I fixed this wing. It looks good, don't it? With this one and we're going to address the battery cover issue because these controls are expensive they hard to take apart and if you buy one broken as i said they expensive not just new they expensive if you find them used and they broken and then you gotta take them apart and use what parts you need so let's just jump into the video and i explain it better as i'm demonstrating and we fix this so we got the controllers the first thing we're going to address is this broken wing here as i said before a lot of people uh super glue these back together you can't as i've seen can't buy a replacement unless you buy a broken used controller which is expensive and then take it apart and replace this and don't worry this is actually your infrared sensor and they actually come apart right here this is not damaged it's not broken half in any way your controller is still fine so if you see a gap between them up towards the center seam here it's normal, it's fine when you disassemble these. That's, yeah, that, that's how they come apart. Not up here, this wing don't. But down here on the bottom, this controller splits right here, and this peels out. But this ain't a disassembly video. What you want to do is go to Thingiverse, and if you got a 3D printer, if not, pick you up one pretty cheap. You can get uh, the Ender Trees. I personally love the Vox Lab Akira. That's what this is printed on with POA. And this is a print that I had to do nothing on. This is for the Oculus Rift S bezel, which is the same as the Quest. Now I think the Quest 2, you will have to size up, so you might have to print a couple of these. If you're new to uh, 3D printing to size up, you can use something like Cure. So sizing up on the print, I'm not gonna explain that. There's plenty of 3D printing videos explaining how to size up on a print, but this is just, from Thingiverse, this is an Oculus wing protector flash repair, and you should be able to find it quite easy on Thingiverse. The creator did a great job on this. This is a first print try. So what you do is you put the wing back together. No glue or anything. You can see ours is cracked in several spots. And then you got this little part right here. And here to go on just like so. Then you just push this over and center it up now you could take a little super glue and put under this or something but you don't need it it fits snug if you can see here looks pretty good this needs brought down just a tad but that's where you got to be careful with it because if you go too far it'll come off but we got the wing repaired now it's nice and sturdy you can basically rub this on carpet clean it and it won't come off it takes actually a lot of force to Pry this uh, wing off of this and this is just a 3d print from thingiverse like i said you wouldn't think you could do that and just print a repair that's this simple and yeah now i have tested these with these on and it didn't affect the tracking for me could be different for you but the wings work perfect now let's address the missing battery this is a thingiverse print also for the uh, Rift S, I do believe. It might be for the regular Quest. They are on uh, this is actually labeled as the white controller print. And uh, when you get it, if you need for the left side, you can go into your 3D printing software and you can mirror it. And mirroring it will make it for the left side. If you look, it's got the price for the two little magnets inside. You can get the magnets at Hobby Lobby or order them offline, eBay or something. Just universal super small little magnets this is the controller for the left side as i said i mirrored the image of the right one because the only point i could find for this oculus controller that somebody worked on the creator did a great job on this by the way was an oculus quest i think or a rift s one you can tell by the tabs what style you got anyway it was just for the right side just mirror it and it goes on the left side and it fits pretty good this slides on here if it had magnets it would snap the gaps 
if you look it's extremely good you might could use a little shaping down here at the bottom but you could touch that up with sandpaper now your printer as i said before needs to be dialed in your bed needs to be level your temp needs to be white now when i printed this i printed it just as it goes into the killer on the 3d printer software and i printed it the way when you drop it down it's setting kind of off the bed i printed it with supports now not connected supports just regular supports lined on bed only because if you print this with supports everywhere it will go between here here to put supports in this little tab here inside this little hole where the magnet goes up in here and it's going to break when you try to remove the supports so therefore just print it with supports on bed only and that looks pretty good now I do got other things for the VR setup here that will be featured in another video. It's for the Rift S and it's stuff like this 3D printed controller hanger which also fits, as you can see here, the Crest fits it actually pretty good. These take about an hour to print on low quality. And that's another thing I want to mention. All this stuff right here, uh, the way I got this set up is on low quality. It's uh, on the Vox Lava Kiwa and it's on an Ender 3 setting. This has a few little tweaks. And my layer height, as I said, is low quality. You could tighten your layers up, but it's going to take longer. This little print here takes about two hours for this cover. This takes about 20 minutes. So the controllers is fixed. They're not as good as new, but they're almost as good as new. Now, I do extremely like the battery covers the creator did a great job on this file and uh just go on thingiverse take plenty of files for your oculus crest or your rift s and uh, plenty of people in the community that got files you can improve on the files if you're just getting in 3d print night i highly recommend playing with someone's files because sometimes the prints somebody's got might not work the best for you might be too big for your printer, might be the way they use supports and didn't mention it in the description. It just takes trial and error. But once you get it dialed in, you can see this print from this creator. I didn't have to do nothing to it on the battery. All I had to do was pretty much put supports on bed only because you want this supported and you gotta have supports, but you don't want supports everywhere because it just makes it unusable because it will break out the tabs. And you need them tabs for your magnets. I mean, you could Velcro this on, but I kind of like it being, you know, magnetic and just snapping on. Now the ring repair, you can't miss it. It's the only point I found on Thingiverse that addresses this ring issue. And I gotta say, it prints first try. It needs a little support right here in the front. You can leave it on bed only. And it will support that little thing. You just drop it in. It prints. Creator did a great job. The fitment is great. On a side note, all this is printed on POA. This is what I use right here. It's a uh, pretty cheap, and uh, you can get it in several different colors. It's like uh, 22 bucks, uh, 1K roll, and it's 1.75. It's you know POA. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, the temperature. If you print anything for inside your car. I uh, use ABS because this stuff does get flimsy once higher temperatures hit it. But for anything like controllers in the house, casual stuff, you know, it works fine. So what I'm saying, if you're thinking about repairing your Oculus Quest 2, your Rift S, or your Oculus, get on Thingiverse. If you're thinking about getting a 3D printing from what you've seen from this video, I highly suggest you check out some of my videos, some other people's videos. I got videos on the Vox Lab Akiwa on my channel. It's the printer I personally enjoy. The Ender 3 is a great printer too. I personally enjoy it. It's a great printer. I highly recommend the Vox Lab Akiwa or the Ender 3 if you're new. They're cheap, budget 3D printers. I mean, they're cheaper printers, but you want something that actually you can enjoy and make stuff functional with. So if you're thinking about 3D printing, check out those printers if you're getting new. And check out Thingiverse for all the cool stuff you can print out for your Oculus. The creators do a great job. You can actually support the creators on the... And it, you can even remix 
and post it and other people will see the remix of that creator's file maybe you know you need it a little bit smaller maybe you added grips to it you can remix it it, it thingiverse is good i know it's not as big as it used to be because you know they more websites now but thingiverse still got a lot of stl files and a great community so check it out highly recommend thingiverse i also highly recommend instead of just throwing out your oculus you know you fix it because e-waste and you know oculus is still a good headset it's a what is it a couple years old now but its eye adjustment is so much better it's got two screens instead of one and this is an oled display in the oculus it might not have as much powerful hardware as the quest 2 but it does got deeper blacks so it's oled it's got two different panels and you can adjust the eyes see you can on the quest 2 but this one's a lot more easier Huh, I rambling on. This was a controller repair video. It's one that I rambling on about a headset and stuff. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new, get subscribed. If you enjoy this content, if you would like to see me do some 3D prints and stuff, let me know. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Also, if you return as a subscriber, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.